In this lecture, we will learn about the common tools and equipment used for excavation. Tools and equipment are classified into manual tools and machine-based tools. Manual tools are used for smaller depths of excavations. Common manual tools are spade, shovel and a pickaxe. Machine tools, operated by mechanical force and are used for the larger depths of excavations. Commonly used machines are excavator, diggers, bulldozers, loading shovels, compactors, graders and hauling trucks. Now, we will learn the characteristics and use of each tool. Spade has metal plate with sharp edges, to dig soil easily. Shovel is used for the purpose of lifting of excavated or loose soil. Pickaxe is pointed on one side and has a blade on the other side. It is used for cutting of hard soil. Mattock, this looks like pickaxe. A mattock has a horizontal blade usually with a pick or axe on the other end of the head. It is used for grubbing the tree roots. Ho has a metal plate attached to a long handle with a cute angle having a sharp edge used to excavate the soil. It is a widely preferred tool for small work of excavation. Mechanical tools are used for excavation, loading, compaction, grading and hauling. Excavator, diggers, it consists of a boom, stick, bucket and a cab on a rotating platform. All movement and functions are accomplished through the use of hydraulic power. They are used for digging underneath the surface of the ground. Backhoe loaders. These are small diggers, having dig depth capacity of less than 4.5 meters. The loading capacity is about 1800 kilograms, equivalent to 1 cubic meter. Bulldozer. They are equipped with metal plate which is used to push soil, sand and rubble for grading, cutting off small trees and for removal of vegetation and hard surface. For small projects, Backhoe loaders acts as a bulldozer. Wheeled loaders. It is a vehicle with a power-operated shovel. Used for scooping up material from stockpiles, or carrying material short distances within job sites. Its capacity ranges between 1.5 to 5 cubic meter. The function of compacting tools is to compact soil, gravel, asphalt and concrete. Tandem roller. It uses self-weight for compaction. The width of contact between roller and surface is 75 mm. Depth of loose soil to be compacted should not exceed 250 mm. If more material is to be consolidated, it should be done in layers or using vibratory roller. Vibratory roller. Vibrations are generated using the shaft inside the wheel. Depth of loose soil to be compacted should not exceed 600 mm. Each pass should overlap not less than one-third of track made in preceding pass. Number of passes should be determined by actual test at site. Certain amount of moisture, not more than 10%, should be present to get better results. The function of grading equipment is to bring the earthwork to the desired shape and elevation. Grader is not used for excavation, but to flatten the land, and to grade loose soil. Scraper. It works as a grader, but it has a soil container that is used for backfilling soil. Skid loaders, are a mini loader, used for backfilling, or hauling of material within hard strata and confined areas. Hauling equipment is used for movement of heavy earthen material horizontally. Dumpers, commonly called trucks are used for transporting excavated material from one place to another. It unloads material hydraulically, 